This is AP News Minute. President Donald Trump threatening to slap tariffs on cars produced in Mexico unless the country does more to stop migrants from trying to enter the U.S. He says Mexico must also halt the flow of illegal drugs across the border. Trump told reporters at the White House Thursday that if that, quote, powerful incentive doesn't work, they'll go through with his standing threat to close the U.S.-Mexico border. The family of a U.S. victim of last month's Ethiopian Airlines crash is suing Boeing. The parents of Samia Stumo say the airline manufacturer was negligent in its safety testing of the 737 MAX 8 plane. Investigators are looking into whether the plane's MCAS safety system may have been the cause of the crash. The Stumo family says the Federal Aviation Administration is also at fault for not independently testing the system for safety. Lawyers for the Securities and Exchange Commission telling a New York judge that Tesla CEO Elon Musk should face substantial fines. Musk appeared in a New York federal court Thursday because the SEC says he violated a settlement when he tweeted about Tesla's vehicle production in February without a lawyer's approval. Last year, Musk reached a settlement with the SEC for making misleading public statements about taking his company private. Two people are dead and thousands evacuated in a wildfire burning in South Korea. Strong winds fanned flames Thursday in an area about 130 miles northeast of Seoul. The cause of the fire? Likely sparks from an electrical transformer. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press with AP News Minute.